Matt Rose here, and thank you very much. 5k subscribers, 5,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Congratulations to me. I thought I'd do a little video, as well as doing the spellings. One thing I do like, cooking. So we're going to do a little cooking video today. We've got this pan that's been on the heat for a little while. We're going to make some uh, late night Coke toast. So we're going to start off, how about the Cappy Cola bottles. Well, we're going to, you're going to need two packs of, be quite generous with the How about, uh, how about Cola. Right in the pan. One thing, when I do cook, is I do quite, I do turn into sort of celebrity chefs. So you might see a bit of Gordon Ramsay coming out. Due warning. Now, if we could just get a, a closer look in here. Now, just look at that. Yeah? And the smell of that now? Delicious. Yeah? Wow. What an aroma. I'm just going to let this, these flavours sort of get to know each other a little bit, even though it is quite arguably all the same flavour already. Now, this is what I like. This is what I like seeing of a morning. This is a high calorie morning treat. Now it's actually that's coming along quite nicely. Now it's uh, part two of this recipe. We are going to pop the cola in now. That's probably enough. Hehe, <laughs> yeah boy. Now we're just going to let that caramelise down. You want this to be quite hot. I want to let that simmer. Just add a little, no, this is some brown sugar. Excellent. So that 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 really tastes of coke. Mmm. Yeah. Now just smell that, yeah? Incredible. Delicious, yeah? Damn! Uh, it's fizzing up! It's fizzing up! Fuck! I didn't expect that. Then we've got a problem there, because the hotter you make it, as you can see, it just sort of fizzes up. Oh, fuck off. Right, now this is a... This is a delicate game we're playing here now. Of course, this is no surprise to me because I've made this recipe thousands of times. But I didn't see that happen. Say what you just said again. It smells like Christmas pudding. Oh, Christmas pudding. We're getting that. We're getting these these sort of festive flavours with these festive aromas coming in. We've got it on a lower heat now. We've got the bread and the toaster ready to plunge. Obviously, this will be going on the toast. Um, so we're just, again, just letting this sort of mellow out a bit, because it was, it was getting a bit leery earlier. Um, soon this is going to be, well, you're going to see, uh, a nice syrup. <sighs> How's this looking? Good. Very good. Now this is the sort of dish that you can you can prepare. You can't prepare at a time, but it's perfect if you've got if you've got guests, if you if you want to do a kind of, kind of canapé kind of kind of game. It's like creme cassis. What's creme? Is it, what's creme cassis? It's not at all. What's creme cassis? Isn't it black currant? What am I thinking of? Oh, caramel. <laughs> I defy you to tell me that that doesn't look delicious. Quick taste test. Oh god, that's going to be boiling. Oh, that's way too hot. I didn't put it to my mouth that was too hot. It should warm me. <laughs> I can't believe this is taking this long. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect. How long have we been, how long has this been pissing around oh for Oh god, now? probably about 25 minutes. This is not how I thought liquids worked. 
How do you think liquids work? Well, I thought if you apply direct heat to it, especially with this much sugar in, I thought that would be a goo. First, I didn't think it would fizz up, and then I thought it would be done in easy five minutes. Imagine if you were serving this at a, a Michelin star restaurant. If someone asks for this, if you're doing a la carte, if someone asks for this, you've got no chance. It's a good job that this isn't a real dish and that I made it up two nights ago when I dreamt it. We still haven't even tasted it yet. I will just taste it. Well, it tastes like hot sugar off a sharp knife. <laughs> that was only your first album, wasn't it? <laughs> I've been more sugar in. Chemistry. If you put more sugar in... It's going to get hotter. You could thicken it up with some flour. Nah, because then it's going to be like a... I don't really want a Coke room. It'll be like <laughs> a... I don't really want to... be like a sort of fizzy bechamel. Whereas this, I think, is going to be... Ooh, come here, come here. It's going to be quite subtle. This is thickening up, man. Here we fucking go. Look at that now. What you want to do is you want to drag your spoon and for it to leave a distinct line. And you can see we're almost there with that. And the smell, delicious, yeah? Nice little bit of sponge sugar. I've got sponge sugar, which I've never made before in my life. But it turns out anything's possible. You just need to believe in yourself. It's starting to smell a bit like, um, yes. and this is going to sound weird, a bit like uh, Sports Direct. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sort of rubbery plimsoll smell <laughs> of a, that's almost got stuck to the thing. Uh, but right, that is, I'm going to plunge the toast. Right, the toast is now, sorry, the bread is now toasting. Yeah, there's some odd aromas coming for this, which makes me think that we're probably almost there. Can you smell? Can you smell that? I can smell burning. Oh, it's burning. Turn it off. Turn it's it your down. recipe. I've just turned it down. I mean, that's the culprit. Oh, so it's not this burning, it's that. Rubbish. Well, I mean... Get rid of that. Clean that up later. <laughs> God, it's quite smoky, isn't it? I when told you something was burning. A uh, knife. So, we'll, um... Just going to get some toast. Butterless toast. And you want to be... Not generous with the butter because of course we've got this, but it just it just gives it a little bit of saltiness to cut through the um, two weeks worth of sugar that we've got in that bit in there. And now for the really exciting part, you just really want to actually we'll do this on the plate. Let's get a let's get that plate. Plate plate. <clears throat> Just really ooze that goop over, ooze that goop over. I don't know about you, but my mouth is watering. Now you might think that that looks like um, something that served you in hell. But we're just gonna, just gonna place it up nicely. So we're just gonna. And like I say, you can have this for breakfast, you can have this for you can have this for a light lunch. That's for tea. That's... So I just put my finger in there. That is hot. Now that is really hot and it's very sticky as well. But all worth it because of course this is going to be absolutely sumptuous. I'll just take a real good look at that. We'll make that the thumbnail. Now we've all been uh, all waiting for. This is... Uh, where the, the, the true pleasure of, uh, of, of cooking for yourself comes from. I'll, I'll go for this bit. Oh, so it's very, it's very, it's very sticky. Oh, that is... <laughs> so 
So I was going to, because um, it is quite sticky as it turns out, so I'm just going to pull the knife out, but... Uh, so, it is quite a sticky dish, quite, quite a gluey dish. Oh, God! That's fine. Now we're just going to cut ourselves off a really nice hunk of this. I think we've lost that plate. So this is perfect if you want like a, just a, a quick stress-free breakfast, just in and out. Delicious, yeah? Sticky enough to literally pull your teeth out. Five K subscribers, you guys. I couldn't do with that, yeah. So thank you very much. Every um, <laughs> every five K, we'll do another uh, couple of videos, and. Uh, I'll see you next time.